What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Speaky Player with Nathan Webb. Speaky Player. So I tweeted out the other day, you may or may not have responded, I got a couple responses to it, but I tweeted out the other day, what is the most embarrassing username you've ever had? Either username or gamer tag or whatever it was. And I got a couple responses back. First off, I got one from Amy Lorraine who said Lizard Girl 57. Ryan Long said the fat kid with a PH. With a PH, people, with a and of course, my good buddy Brian Anderson said Brian and Threerson, which is what I call <laughs> his little gamer tag YouTube channel. By the way, follow Brian and Threerson now. I started looking at different ones, looking things up. I've seen a lot of embarrassing ones so far, so I thought I'd read off just a couple of my favorites. Music for Eva. Only it looks more like music for Ava. This person who says that their friend, their friend had one that was kitty cat loves underscore be my friend. Warrior princess is one of them. I feel you. Biscuit this is probably my favorite. It says the first username I remember having in Yahoo chat, which is around 1999, was Snapster Todd 4587. Snapster Todd based off of Pokemon Snap. That is so wonderful. I love it. Anyway, this whole thing came out of myself having this like onslaught of memories the other day. And I thought back to whenever I was in like fifth grade, okay? And I would never had had internet or a computer or anything in my house up until that point really. And um, we had a computer, but we never really had internet or anything like that. And so I, I, we finally got internet and I was so excited. I wanted to be with all my friends and I wanted to talk to them. And so I discovered AIM Messenger, right? A Messenger with a little running dude. Everybody knows a little running dude, most likely. Um, it's the same messenger that Emily is away, that Itch.io game is based off of. I can. I started having these memories flooding back to me for some reason. I don't even know why this happened. But I started to remember whenever I first created that, whenever I was in fifth grade, and I had just really gotten into manga. And my personal favorite manga was, of course... Full Metal Alchemist. It was what kind of brought me into manga. It was the first one that I really read. I started watching the show on Adult... Don't tell my parents. Started watching Full Metal Alchemist when I was like fifth grade on Adult Swim and absolutely loved it, fell in love with it, and then read the manga based off of it. And I loved the manga so incredibly much that it like it overtook my life. It, became, it, it like took into all of my storytelling capabilities, which one of those, of course, is your username. And so I remembered my username was Mecha... Otaku 13. Don't know why 13, but Mecha and Otaku. Mecha is a term that can be described as mechs or mechanical, things like that. And as you know, the main character, Edward Elric, or maybe you don't know, Edward Elric has an auto male mechanical arm. And his auto mechanic, uh, Winry, I was madly in love with. And she described herself as an auto male otaku, or maybe that was like, that was Ed's way of insulting her in one of the panels of the manga. He called her like a, a, an auto male otaku as an insult or something. And I thought that was so cool that I was like, well, I like middle arms and I like full alchemist uh, a lot like an otaku. And I know Japanese words. And so Mecha Otaku 13 uh, became my dam. Yeah, so I was real cool is what I'm trying to tell you whenever I was a kid, real cool. So what was your most embarrassing username? If you want to post it down below, have a conversation about this. I know that I'm I'm pretty embarrassed even letting this out there. Um, I don't remember anything else about it. I don't even know if it's still out there. It's probably not active. I don't even know what email I would have possibly used for it. But Mecha Otaku 13. 13. Why 13? Mecha Otaku 13 is out there somewhere uh, just waiting for a message from some random fifth grade person. <laughs> So if you want to message nine-year-old Nathan or 10-year-old Nathan, uh, feel free to try and find me. Does AIM even exist? I think you have to have dial-up for AIM to even work anymore. I'm not sure about that. I don't even know anymore. What a weird world. <laughs> anyway, guys, hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to post your comments down below on what your most embarrassing username or gamer tag might have been. I'd love to hear more about it, to know more about it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.